Hello guys and welcome back to another Black Desert video as we're here and today we're going to be talking about bartering in 2022. Now before we start we have to kind of like define it for the newer players. Bartering is one of the most profitable things that you could do semi AFK and it's one of my favorite. I can do things in real life while doing this one especially like sometimes when I'm working from home. Now you exchange base materials, take it from point A and then exchange it for bartering item and then you barter from that point to B, C, D and so on and so forth up until you get like the top level of those items which are like the 5 million items that you could sell um, 10 million items that you could sell and then you also have a chance of getting the upgraded rewards that PA kind of revealed which includes you know Garmus Hearth, additional crow coins that you could exchange for better materials so now if you are indeed interested in getting your ship, I did a step-by-step -step guide in my playlist and my channel if you want to check it out. And I've been using the same steps even though like they have been a lot of upgrades and updates for the Great Ocean content and also for bartering. And it's much easier now and that's why I do have my three cracks and I'm going to be building the balance for this year. So let's do a quick recap of part one and part three so that like later on we could focus on building and um, doing activities for the Karak. Now you would start with a Bartali sailboat like normally if you want to build it yourself but to make it much simpler I would recommend to go to the marketplace and buy yourself an Ethereum sailboat and an Ethereum frigate. Now most of the time they are out of stock but like the good thing about this one is that like a lot of people are still building it including myself and I've been selling if you're a sailboat for a couple of years now now like the next one that I do is I either exchange my Shaka 2 seals um, 30 of it for um, a caravel but it's totally up to you if you want to do that since that is kind of like a three month um, waiting period now once you have your sailboat or frigate then go watch part 2 and kind of like follow on that one so you could upgrade to a Galias and a Caraval. So I'm going to be picking up from part 3 and I really recommend you for you to watch it before we even start the Karak materials so you would understand the bartering routes and you know like the materials you would need including the enhancement part. Now for those that have watched it already then you should have Port Ethereum. 1-4 second floor from the Port Eferia housing residence and over here you would see at level 4 there will be gears that you will be building that is required for you to upgrade your Galeas or Caraval into a Cara. Now what you would need is to check the materials that are needed over here. So for example I am building a balance currently. So I would need the gears for the Imperia Caravel. So keep that in mind. It shows the Caravel and Galias, not the Caravel. Character is not here yet. So you don't really need to buy the Toro gear from the Crow Coin shop yet. So you would see here, I would have like the Imperia Caravel black dragon figure head. I have the upgraded plating, the Bina cannon, and then the Stratus wind sail. So you would focus on this one and for to save time for you for writing it down, here is on the screen the materials that you would need for these ones. Now if you look closely, you would see that some of the materials have a different count. So for the Black Dragon figurehead, it has the same materials. Um, for all four, you would need the gear that you could buy from Filiberto Palazzi and upgrade it to plus 10. And then for the figurehead, the Ruby Manganese, No Jewel, Enhanced Island, Tree Coated Plywood, Seawood Stock, Ocean, uh, Great Ocean Dark Iron. We'll talk about like, how to get this one. Um, and then for the Mina Cannon, you would see that there's a drop off for the Caravel. So you would need 125 Cox Pirate Artifact um, Combat for this one, but for uh, Caravel, or like you know for the advance or balance you would just need like 60 um, for the moon scale too it drops to from 300 to 200 um, same thing with the upgraded plating you would see that the um, pirates artifact combat and moon scale is also scaled down so basically what this means is that like it's much much easier for you to build a balance or an advance in order to get like you know your first character 
um, for Shadow Swind Sail, it's also the same. Seaweed stock is much lesser compared to like the Galeas counterpart, which is like 125. So the first place you need to be is here at Okila's Eye, and you would just like go by like Ravikil and then like going towards like this stairs over here and talk to this NPC named Curio. Now he would have two quests, the precious coral piece and then the four young other merchants. So you would get this one, he would need corals. And then like the other ones, like for the young other merchant, he would need spotted corals. Now these are very easy to get. And I would also note like the Okila's coin later on. So you would just like go over on this spots right here and there's kind of like plenty over here. So just make sure you you have a hoe um, equipped so that you could farm these ones. Now the first spot is this, like once you see this shell over here, like just dive down and you would see like this like colored corals over here. Now a lot of people do um, kind of like harvest this one. Um, but you will see that you would get the iridescent coral piece and the coral piece over here with some of like the other corals that are just like bonus. And then the next one would be around here where you see, you know, like this, like protruding, um, dead coral and over here, it's kind of like the white stones and it's easy to see if you have your like setting too high. Um, or like even medium so like just try to get like these corals and like there are a lot more but like I just choose to do like these ones like um, the first and the second part um, since like you really don't need much to exchange and then like yeah like you do have like, a chance of getting some <laughs> sharps that was kind of lucky and then like once you get all of these ones just head back to him and go to chat so he would ask for 10 coral pieces and then just one of that um, iridescent coral piece so yeah like really not much so once you exchange you would get like the gathering skill xp some cp and then two of these ones meaning that like if you are going for a caravel then you would just like do about like 50 trips on this one um, but like these can be bought like again from Crow Shop and also from a little bit of bartering you have a chance of getting like these ones it does like show over here um, and then the Okila coins are very important like save this up at 150 we will get like one of the most important and hard to get item for the Carax now the next one on the black dragon figurehead is the great ocean dark iron now the problem with this one is that you could only buy it um, from the crow coin shop or exchange it for a level four um, personally i would recommend to just like wait for it to pop out for some trades or you could also do like the ship material barter refresh and you would get this one about one or two based on my experience i only got like that so um, roughly if you have enough coins you could like get this one in within 20 days or less and they do uh, drop from ocean stalkers um, low chance um, so that would kind of like speed up the process so that like um, is one and then like also the enhanced island three coated plywoods which can be um, obtained through through like bartering with the level four and exchanging it you know like um, ten a piece for one um, and then also this is part of the four Serendian soldiers um, daily quest which we'll cover next now going back to Okila Ai Ravikul, so like he is like kind of like the wharf manager for this island. Um, you would unlock this like Ravikul test. Now you have to do this in order to do the Serendio one. Um, but like for what I did is like I finished this one, waited for the reset so I can show you both much quicker. So this one is needed for the upgraded plating, the pure pearl um, crystal. So you would want to accumulate this one up until you get like 45. And these are like fairly cheap too from the Crow Coin shop at 550 Crow Coins. Um, if you want to kind of like uh, rush it a little bit. And also they are available too on the barter uh, material refresh. Um, and it's kind of like rare in a way because like from one every four of the ones that I've um, shifted to the material refresh I only got in like a few 
so it might be just me or like <laughs> like the game is not like giving me much of the pearl item but like yeah like for example this one i did a refresh i think i didn't get um any oh except for here so it's just like one to one so it's kind of rare um so i would recommend do this one daily and after you complete this one you can now then go to like this guy over here um, he would unlock the um, sailing to oh no not that one sorry um, he would unlock these four Serendian soldiers now this would be the same you have to barter 10 times and then you could either get the parley expert which is also needed for the wind sail the stratus wind sail 30 apiece and then also like you know 300 for this um, island tree coated so that covers kind of like your figurehead so we will do a recap on this one a little bit later on like after we've completed all of the materials um, and then also by the way for that quest from the radical you could also get the bright reef piece which you would need 180 off and these is fairly easy to get um, this pops out like a lot um, during my uh, barter so you you'll get this one kind of like in no time now moving on to our next item the cox pirate artifact parley beginner this can be exchanged with level 2 trade goods and it does appear from time to time um, but it appears 100% whenever you do the um, material refresh so you can get this one like one by one you only need 60 of these ones um, and most of the time you get like one two three of these and um, you'll get it about like you know in a, in a month or so um, you could also purchase this one uh, from the core coin shop which is fairly cheap at 150 crow points um, a piece so you if you want to expedite it a little bit now let's go on to the difficult part which is the dailies now if you don't have your character yet this would be very difficult and time consuming for you that's why i recommend that you go to the chat groups by searching for chat group and then going over here in the community and finding the dancing marlin tavern now like there are people that does like buses for the dailies and also if you go into like the black desert sailing um, discord i'll post down the link below there is a chat over there that like declares if they're gonna do like a sailies um and then like you can go on to that one i think like there's a few twitch streamers that does the like the dailies um and it would greatly help you out now if you want to do it alone then you would go talk to this soldier right here he is unnamed and do the three quests that he gives you so there's going to be two parts part one is with the soldier part two is with the radical which is in magoria so here you would be given the tie died which is one of the requirements for the mayana cannon um you accept that one and then the next one is the uh this one the cox fight artifact combat now you could also get this one by doing uh, like you know killing cox pirates from the island but that is very really difficult too for beginners so i suggest like you just like do this one um every day and then also whenever some of your you know teammates does do um the dailies then like you know they could let you if you're doing it with your own boat um then like you could pick up like the cox pirate um ex uh, extermination seal so that's one thing that you can do now once you get like this one like make sure that like you are like you know saving it up and the reason why i say that is that if you're going for volante and valor you would need 250 of these and some beginners get tempted to sell them for eight crow coins because they're trying to speed up um you know like the process of the other materials i would suggest keep this like this is rare as it is so yeah people like some people does that and then go to the win-win situation which is the last one and you would get the deep tide um uh deep tie-dyed um standardized timber now this is required for the carrack itself you would need 144 of this one if you are um going for the balance and advance route if you're going for the valor 
though you would need 170 of these. So once you get those ones, you would have to target three areas. One is below Aquila's eye to get this like youngins over here. And then the ocean stalkers would be on the left side. And then the um, uh, Hikaru's would be on the right. So normally what I would do is like, I would go to this part first, um, followed by going over here. Then the wave and like the wind, like it's kind of like a hard to explain for beers but basically like it could go against you um but normally like what would happen is that if you would go here travel up here it would be smooth sailing to the west side and then you could get back to Akela with no issue so let me show you real quick So you would see I am over here already. Gonna try and blast off to the Hikaru's. Note that you don't have to go all the way over there. There is some that spawn and swim over here at the top of the island and it's much easier to see. Okay, as you can see, like it did drop like a parley expert. Um, also like one of the island coded's and then like we'll now head over to here. So point your compass to the left side and that would signal that you would be going to the east. And I did forget that I need two of the young ones, so I'm gonna get this one too. And then just zoom zoom over there. So that's why like if you don't have um, a good ship yet, I would really recommend that like you party up first. Because like you can see that um, a Karak with blue gear would easily like zoom to this one and there's a lot of helpful people in the dancing Marlin tab so highly recommend that part And then after that one, we would just like breezy sail back to the Okila Eye. Now, if you don't have this one, unfortunately, you have to manually ride your boat back to the island over here. So once you are back, just interact back with this one and pick these up. And again, accumulate 150 of the Aquila oin coins so that like we could exchange it for the tiers later on. Now, once you have completed that one, it would unlock the other questions for Rabbi Kill. Now, like there are two. Now, if you are kind of like starting out and can't kill um, the Candidums or the um, nine shark plus the black rust yet in your boat like just like explodes on you then accept the young ones so these are much easier and you don't have to kill like the adult one but if you're running with a group or you already have 
um, let's say like you're running a Galias um, with upgraded cannons, then like do go ahead and take this as this would be 10. So you would see like the main difference is just this is easier with less rewards. Um, but like this would get you through because like yeah, like you don't want to risk your you know like losing your boat in the middle of Magoria. Uh, so like um, for me, I do take this. I do take some friends whenever I'm doing this one, so we can just do it once. Um, and so just to review the reason why we would need like these materials, you know, as you can see in your screen, you would need a lot of these ones. So before you head out, like make sure you do have a compass with you. You could also buy a compass, a seven day compass at Lemma Island for 400 crow coins if you want to but i don't recommend spending too much crow coins as there is a daily quest um given out at Ilya island for the compass piece or buy it off of the market now the three areas that you will be targeting is the candidums which is over at <clears throat> the north side of Margoria, and then the nine um shark and then after that one is like the black rusts now my normal path for this one, um, and this is kind of like a um, hit or miss depending on like how you navigate, is that like I would just like go up here and before I even hit like this ship over here, like this is un unmarked. So you have to find it really like, you know, um, quite hard. So that's why it would be better again for you to be in a group. They would guide you over there. You can talk to the NPC and you would have the marker. Now, I would go over here, I would get like the Candidums over here and then drive down super fast because of like no resistance and like the speed um, to the Nine Shark. And once I get one over there, I just like um, dive a bit like curved up until here following like the currents, um, making sure like I have like wind speed behind me um, and then like pushing me down to um, where the rusts are. Now, after that one, it's either I go back to Portiferia to repair or depending, like sometimes, like I've encountered some uh, resistance that like pushes me towards over here. So I just like go directly back to um, Lima Island area and then back to Okila I. So let me show you about like real quick how I go about this route. So make sure like if you do have the continuously use of breezy sail, you do so and use that and you could just like go to the map and then wait for your ship to hit that part. Now don't leave it because like you might end up at the crocodile parts um, and be sunk. So just be careful. And also just a tip, just in case that you ran out of um, what I call this rations and also durability, you can call up your maid and get like a repair kit for like the ship. Or you could also get some Balenos meals, like which is like the cheapest one that I've calculated so far. They might be cheaper ones that I haven't checked. Um, but like what this does is that like it can be given to your um, sailors as you can see here and I could just like hit use and max and it would just like you know recover my rations to full and another tip is that if you do not see anything because of a storm just change servers you'll be fine uh, like as long as the server that you're transferring to does not have a storm so that's one thing to remember because like I was like punishing myself like trying to find um, the candies over here um, with all of the things like you know pitch black and it was like very difficult up until like you know um, one of my fellow sailors like showed this one to me and also you could hotkey your call to ship so that like when you're near your ship it will just like teleport you to like the helm real quick so you can see because like the storm has cleared 
it's much easier for me to see it and the candy is where I expect it to be. So that made our lives a lot easier. We don't have to travel all the way up over here for the candy. And just for reference, it's just like like at the left side of the bell. And sometimes like when you port in, like your ship would be halfway below water. So when that happened, just like go to character selection and reselect a character and select back. So once that one is dealt with, like shift your camera towards where the nine shark would be, which is over here. And if you don't have a compass, um, it will be very hard for you to navigate here. So make sure you do have one handy with you. And while we're here, I'm just going to explain the resistance real quick. If the wind is pointing like, you know, at your um, a northwest northeast then you're kind of in a good position you would see that I am ge getting propelled really fast because like there's not much resistance it's kind of like a push so if I do like kind of like want to go over here um, to the left side like you know um, southwest then I would go much faster but like that's not the, our target so um, that's one thing to do so like just making sure like if you're traveling like sometimes you really have to go against it but to make your life easier you can like just set it up like that and your travel would be much faster so we encountered our first nine shark which is around like this area above like one of the markers of the ship if you do have that one okay so we got our nine shark now we would do a dive down to the black crust over here and you would see that like the directions for the resistance um and the the current and the wind is um kind of like guiding me towards there which would make this travel a lot easier Okay, we spotted our first black rust youngin. So if you do want to get that one, go ahead. So that would be near the marker. Now for the adult one, it would be this big guy over here. Um, we do see like there's one trying to get that. So we'll leave that alone. We'll go to like the south marker. Okay, now that we have that one, we're just going to navigate down and towards Portiferia since like that is like kind of like the least resistance. Like if I go straight, then like I would um, battle the currents and the wind going down would be like the best option. So I will see you guys at Portiferia and then like I'll head on over to back to Okila. So once you have completed that, you would get the moon scale, the moon vein, and then the tear. So there are other things that you can do. One mainly is cons and then also the otter trader that appears in Okila Eye. Um, but both of those I haven't done like in a while. Um, but the third one is like buying stuff in the crow coin shop. Now I do not recommend it, especially like, you know, if you're rushing for the tier of the oceans, you need 40 of these ones and you're kind of like spending too much on the materials here. Um, the only thing that I could recommend is like getting the frosted blackstone and fury blackstone for enhancement for your blue gear um, that you would be using to enhance to a carrot because you know at the end you would need 40,000 just to get like a full set of um, if you're a carrot um, gear so this would like really hurt you out um, bad if you do push that one and then also like yeah like the cons like if you could get into a good group and of course like they ban griefers just keep that in mind 
um, you would get a lot of materials over here. So like, you know, one constant is equivalent to 10 of like the moon vein flax fabric. Um, con scale two, same thing would be like 10 of the moon scale plywood. Um, so it, it would help you out in your material, especially for the characters. Now, so guys, let's do a recap. So all in all, in order for you to get your character, you would need to have the four blue gears that you could create in Port Ephiria. Now for the figurehead um, and plating up to the cannon and wind sail will be very difficult to get. That's why a lot of people are not going this route or getting a uh, carrot. Um, but overall, you would need um, 100 uh, manganese no jewel if you want to build a Galeas um, into like a Valor and into a Volante. Only 90 if you would want to advance in balance. Um, 300 of the Enhanced Island 3 coated plywood. Um, 250 seawood stock if you would go to like the Valor Volante route. And then only 205 if you would go the advanced and balance. 150 Great Ocean Dark Iron. And then 45 Pure Pearl Crystals. 60 Parley Beginners. And then 250 Parley Combat if you would want to do the like the Volante and Valor. 120 if you are going for the advanced and balance. And then um, after that with the Parley Expert, you would need 30 of those ones. Um, and then for the Moon Scale Plywood, also a big uh, difference. 600 if you would go to the V ships. And then 400 for the advanced balance. Um, Tie-dyed uh, that you will be getting to Quest 2 um, only needs 180. Uh, and then the Bright Reef piece, which you get a lot um, during the dailies, is 180. You would need 80, 180 of those. And then lastly is the Luminous Cobalt Ingot, which is going to be 30. Now, these are like, you know, huge, um, you know, orders that you would need to fill in order for you to just get the blue gear. Um, this doesn't include the Carrick materials you need itself, which is 144 deep tie-dyed um, standardized timber. If you are doing the Volante, the Advance and Balance, for Valor, you would need 170 of these. Now, you would also need the Brilliant materials, which is the rock salt, Brilliant Rock Salt Ingot and the Brilliant Pearl Shards, which is 30 for the Balance, which is less, but 35 for like you know the Valor, Volante, and Advance. Tier of Ocean, like that one is a bit hefty with balance at 50 and just 42 with the Valor Volante in advance. So these are the materials that you would need just to get your base Karak. It doesn't have like, you know, the green gears nor the blue gears, uh, which I want to cover in part five that I will be making soon because like I'm making my balance. So guys, like I hope that this video kind of helped you out um, knowing what to do in order for you to get the materials. I know we covered in part one, part two, and part three, um, all the way like how to get your gear up until like the Caravel and the Galeas. I did build it myself. Um, but like for part five, I want to do like a bigger summary. I'm going to be going from a base sailboat up until like the balance and then up until like the blue gear um, for some of my ships. Um, and if you have any question, feel free to drop it below. I'll be having all of the links that would be helpful for you guys um, down in the, um, the description. Um, but like, yeah, feel free to comment. And if this has helped you, please do like and subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next video.